Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to breach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 342, Nasdaq's up 231, S&P's up 62, gold contract trading up $11.50 at 1780 an ounce. You get silver up 38 cents. All right, twenty dollars twenty-five cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up two forty-two, ninety-eight dollars eighty-four cents a, bar a barrel. Notes and bonds. A ten-year note up four ticks, trading one twenty-one oh three. The thirty-year up twenty-one at one forty-eight seventeen. And King Dollar, King Dollar is down four hundred and sixty ticks, one oh five eight ninety-one. The euro is at one oh two. The yen is at one thirty-three, and the British pound is at one twenty-one to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, you get higher price. Uh, you get you do have a contraction of volume right now. We we got this ABC structure up inside the, uh, the spy. That price projection is four fifteen. We've reached four twelve thirty eight thus far. Now that being said, now watch this. This is going to be a cool close, folks. Okay, because. What you have here is that we've been going higher all day, but I suspect what's going to happen is that we're going to give a bit up at the close. The reason being is that what you've seen here is that the, you know, first, when we first hit the, the high of today, well, the first high was uh, 4123 on the S&P. You came back down, you came back down into strength. You know, the strength there was big time between uh, the 409, yeah, 4090. Then what ended up happening as you as you took this level out, the bottom line is that there's been no volume this whole time. Now what we just did, we just spiked with volume. The differential is that you went to four four one three seven, and we'll see if this you know bottom line wants to go south now. I mean, it, it would have to get under the spy would actually have to. Well, the spy can go back to forty one eleven, and still be. Still want a higher price. I'm just talking about for this close out here. We go to the NQs. The NQs are set up the same way. The NQs right now, we're up uh, 220. The high was uh, 976. We're right next to that high. We're at 957. Same type of setup, though. Um, we pull this back a little, and what you're going to see, uh, you just drifted higher, 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 and, you know, this looks to me like it can take off... Uh, 875, what is that? Yeah, that's almost 90 points. It could take off 90 points pretty quickly. So we'll see how that shakes out. That Bottom line, all these indices continue to want higher price. And I expect they're going to get higher price because I'll show you. Let's get the dollar because this dollar, this is a break. We we're looking for this break. We we're talking about the benchmark first. The benchmark on this dollar is the sign of strength that it had. Well, it had a lot of sign of strength. But the one we are looking at is 106.792. Now, what we've done, you've broken this uptrend with conviction. So the uptrend I'm talking about is the last leg up that started at 101,297. Now, you are at 105,910. That is going to give the market some monster breathing room. That, on top of the aspect that we have a 10-year, I talked about this yesterday. Ten years on an ABC structure on the way up. So watch this. This is how bizarre this is. Let's go to the ten-year now. I'm going to go to the ten-year yield. When you see this, this is phenomenal. I was I was on TD Ameritrade this morning. I was talking about this because everyone's just talking about rates going up. Well, the reality is that your bank to make bank rate, the Fed funds rate, yes, has gone up. That being said, the ten-year rates have gone down and gone down dramatically. Okay, we peaked out on. The 14th of June, 14th of June, if we go look at this, you had 3.49 was the rate, was the 10-year rate. Well, we're at 2.65 right now. We're not only at 2.65, but you, if you take a look at this, want to see something wild, man? I, just, I saw this this morning. That if you take a look at this, this is a nice head and shoulders top, man. And you're breaking it, 
And the bottom line is if we just go down to where this, the ABC structure gets you, you're going to be at a 2.01 to 2.14. And needless to say, that is going to blow some minds. Uh, what it's also going to do is it's going to basically relieve, um, you know, a lot of industries, including the housing industry, because uh, that gets that back down to two, let's say a 2.1. The normal correlation is you put about a 2.5 on top of the 10 year to get you a 30 year um, rate. So if that's what you get, the bottom line is that you'd be back to approximately a 4.6, 4.7 versus in the sixes right now. And you know, the, the rate structure, it's amazing that it's actually gone down faster than it's gone up. That's, you know, that's, that's what's happened. If I I'll bring the 10 year up right now and you can see the ABC structure on the way up and it's pretty amazing, man. I mean, the bottom line, it blew away the B point yesterday, blew it away with volume. You needed 1.6 million contracts and we got 1.8 million last high, the last high at 1.61, and you got 1.8. And that's saying, guess what? We're at 121. That's saying it's going to 124, 125, and uh, <laughs> it it is just unbelievable, actually. But bottom line is that you know it's going to give everything breathing room to go to higher price. So this is going to be like the quickest recession we saw in and out, evidently, or it's just not going to be a really strong recession. That's how this is shaking out. So uh, some of the uh, higher volume equities we saw out here, and it's a light volume day out here, Friday in the summer. You can expect that. You get uh, Intel that's getting that's down three and a half dollars. You get Advanced Micro up two bucks. Roku's getting smoked. That's down 20 bucks. You got uh, Nvidia up 130, dollar 30. That is, the uh, Tesla's up uh, 39 bucks. That's at 881 right now. Exxon Mobil uh, up four and a half dollars. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow. Dow Industrial's up 334. Nasdaq is up 228. S&Ps are up 61. Stay right there. Come right back, folks.